Hello, good morning. As you can see from the sign behind me, we are here today at York Mays. Now this is extremely different for me because the only time I've ever been to York Mays is for their Hello Scream event. So I'm very excited to go inside and check out everything that they've got. There's a whole new range of things in there that they've just released for this summer. Um, so we're all very, very excited. Should we go inside and take a look? So lots of exciting things here today. We've got corn holes, the Jurassic Maze, the Corn Sleigh Run, Cobstacle Course, Volcano. Lots of uh, lots of exciting things, and we're excited to go on all of them, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually quite surreal not to see the hollow scream um, iron gates and fire in there, but for now, we're going to go through the House of Corn Fusion. What is going on? There's like a hundred Henrys. So we've just been in the house of Corn Fusion and that is ridiculous isn't it mate? I know. It's got off centre rooms, you'll be able to see on the camera off centre rooms, spinning tunnels and the feeling it gives you, you're so off centre, you're so off your own gravity, you feel like you're going to pass out and hit the floor, it's absolutely mental isn't it? I know, it? my head is literally spinning, I have a head It is, it's crazy. Head. Now imagine trying to do that with a huge number of vicious scary clowns jumping out at you. It's very different not to have that this time, um, but absolutely fantastic to actually have a look around the maze where it does take place. So when you come here, there is a ton of food outlets to come and eat, and doing burgers, loaded fries, pizzas. They're all extremely good. It's the same stuff you would get at any event that you, you come here. Since they've added this edition of the food area, um, it's been absolutely phenomenal. No, no longer any food trucks are out like that necessary, just their own, kitchen area nice cabins it's very um 
it's got that Christmas market vibe to it um, but they really do great stuff so we've ordered some dinner because we're going to be here for a long day uh, we'll see how it goes right so let's have a look at these uh, this banging food that we've ordered so first we have loaded What's nachos they, they look like they're going to be spicy as heck those are for the lady thank you and then we have My. plain cheeseburger look at the size of that Plain cheeseburger for the young man. I don't like the um... The pie. Well, you can try. It's not um... I've got the uh, the old posh dog. And look, oh, look at the onions on that. And then, because I can't go past one without having it. A corn dog. Yeah, man. Alright, time to try out this amazing corn dog. Got to get a bit of ketchup on. And mustard. That's the only way you should be eating a corn dog. And this is a beast. I don't know how it's going to fit in. <clears throat> really good. Yeah, definitely recommend coming here. Oh, and there he is. My old man. Ready. For Hello Scream. I can't wait. York Mays, if you watch this, I'd love to be invited to the media night I don't care I'll pay I'll pay twice as much if I have to I'm not after a free uh, free event I just want to be able to uh, freely vlog in the uh, in the mazes and in the houses and of everything that's going on because it's by far the best event up north you will find and for the first time this year now that our little one is getting uh, old enough we will be going to Halloween gonna be exciting I'll catch you in October big man and tonight over here we'll have the carnival which has uh, a nice foam finale which I can't wait that's gonna be grand this is why you will bring a change of clothes here because there's all kinds of uh, weird and wonderful things you can do but about 50% of them you end up completely soaking but it's an absolute grand place to come. They've really put a lot of investment into this place and it really shows. See, so now they are just announcing the Crazy Maze show, which we're gonna go see. It's on three times a day, 12, two and four. And we're gonna go for the first show and see what it's like. So we're just waiting for mummy to catch up and we're gonna go on inside. Okay guys, for now I am the cameraman. And we're just walking into the Crazy Maze show. Use that fist and just boom this. Okay, ready? Here we go. Yes. Yes, Gaza, here we go. Gary, check it out. Look at this. Okay. I'm heading straight for you, Sunshine, okay? If this touches the floor, we lose. One, two, three, boom. Yes. Oh, those lights are looking very expensive all of a sudden. Now. Okay guys, so next we are going to the volcano and I'm going to go climb up it. So let's go. So yes, we're gonna have a walk down to the volcano. We're uh, full of puns here at York Mays. Uh, we've just uh, seen the show, um, which was rather entertaining. Um, again, full of puns, uh, but very high energy. Um, great jokes in there for for the kids. Great audience interaction. Um, so I'm not I'm not never really been a particular big fan of shows myself, but that was thoroughly enjoyable and great to see the kids so happy. 
So we're off to explore the uh, rest of the park. And here we are at the Volcano, which is a giant climbable volcano of corn with a slide. Now for obvious reasons, this is a child friendly attraction. So I won't be going on there because I would inevitably get stuck and never find my way down. Um, however, the little lads on there should be fun for him. Oh, here he goes. You can do it! Whee! There we go. So, it's a, an excellent little, uh, little addition. It's fun to try and climb up. Gets quite challenging towards the top. It is very safe and soft for children. Um, and obviously, they have a limit as well as to how many people they actually allow in here which makes it a lot safer as well because you've not got children climbing all over each other potentially hurting themselves um, it's really well looked after they've got a member of staff on duty at all times uh, so really really good little addition here <sighs> yeah. see here's a question for you York Mays why are you not using that as a scare maze or a scare zone? I do not know. That would be absolutely fantastic. Actors in amongst the trees jumping out on you. That'd be, that, that's my top tip for 2024. Get this turned into a scare maze. It would be fantastic. Give us a wave. Way. So next up, we're gonna go on the obstacle course after we've just met uh, Colonel and Sweetie Corn, I believe. Henry's gonna uh, have a go on here. <laughs> oh. oh, Henry. And I go. Ennis, yeah. what was the obstacle course like on the inside? Uh, there was a bunch of corn and there was some leaves sticking out. You had to crawl under them. Yeah. Some punching bags. Oh, wow. All sounds very exciting. And you actually got to race Colonel himself. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Um. Very excited that I have to risk calm. Yeah. Yeah. So, fantastic interaction, as you saw. Another great thing about being here at York Mays. Um, we've just had a race with the Colonel and won. But no, fantastic interaction with the staff. They really do make the children uh, just feel really at ease. Um, really, really enjoyable experience for them and it is really appreciated some places you can come and the the people there the staff are just here to do a job uh, but it's more than that here at york maze not only they're doing a job but they're really including you in what's going on it's really 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 nice to see and now we have moved on to the next ride the new for 2023 cob sled Let's go and have a take a look at this, or cob sleigh. Cob sleighs. So we've got some rules, there's only one rider per sled. Riders must meet the minimum height requirement. Hold the black handles at all times when riding, no touching the other slides, and no riding outside of the sled. Right, so, we're gonna go get a bird's eye view of this going on.
into Optical the, illusion time. Into the maze of illusions. Guys, of course, from the corn house over there, and um, there's a lot of optical illusions, and I went crazy. Yes. Ooh. Why are they moving? They're literally moving like a tree. Ah, so this is what would happen if I ate right. <laughs> Mate, you're so skinny you almost don't exist. Look at that. Look at mum's legs. Look at my legs. Look at me. What do you mean totally fine now? What was wrong with me before? Corn Central, this way to the Crow, Cromania, Crazy Maze Golf, Muriel Painting, the Finger Find Maze and much more. This place is unexpectedly a lot bigger than you would think. Push to play. <laughs> Is this you? Oh, crap. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who's two? Yes. So, we're here. Corn hauling. Did you? Can I have a try? Take some. Well, I'll just take one. All right, you're right. Three, two, one. <laughs> nope. Have a, a range of refreshments halfway through and some toilets. We're just going to take a walk down to Cromania, which is a, a giant. What is it? Here at the maze, we are constantly at battle with pesky crows pecking and eating our crop. Help us fight and jump on board our incon incomparable tractor trailer ride. This should be exciting. Everybody, my name is Jess, and welcome aboard this Chromania ride. I will be your host for today. It's the Cobness Monster of Cobb. Yes, tint octopus peeking out over the top. Right guys, so, excitingly enough, I've just come out to uh, chill out with the car, get a drink, and as you can see, we've had problems. So, thankfully, a member of staff here, um, what's your name? I'm Becca. Becca, do you mind moving on Becca, camera? Becca. No, so, Hi. Becca, <laughs> fantastically, has offered some jump cables, and they are, we're out here, just trying to get the car jump started, and I think what this shows is just how fantastic the customer service is at York Maze. Not only have we had an excellent time inside, but even when disaster strikes, they're here ready to help us out. So just thank you You're from welcome. us here at Judd Ventures. <laughs> yeah. 
And so after that disaster, we've uh, we've nipped here for the corn on the quads. We do love a bit of uh, York May's corn puns here. Um, you want to slow down there, mate? You like yourself going that fast? So this is what one pound a ride to go on the corn on the quads, which I think is quite reasonable. A lot of places charge for absolutely everything extra that you go on here, but so far, apart from the food, this is the only real extra cost that we've had to pay, and one pound for a ride, not steep all. You look like you've got the comfiest seat in the park there, mate. It's been a tough day. That's because there's so much to do here at York Mays. And our next stop of the day is the Jurassic Maze. I wonder what is housed behind those electric fences. And we got a couple of photo ops here. And our mate, which I think is the largest velociraptor I've ever seen. I recognise that music. Wow. And this is where it all started. Obviously, this is York Maze because of the maze, the corn. And they spend a long time growing this and they do a fantastic job because it's not easy to grow so much corn um, but if you follow them on Instagram you can actually check out the effort they put in through the year to actually get all this corn going oh triceratops is he nice what are we naming him you see in either this is gonna make a really interesting vlog or when I don't get out of here and someone picks this up in 30 years time it'll be a great found footage documentary worthy of the Blair Witch Guys. Yeah. Uh, You're all right, big boy, aren't you? You just look mean, you're actually really nice. See, I wonder, and maybe some of the viewers, or even York Mays himself, feel free to uh, let us know. You grow a lot of corn here. What do you do with it afterwards? Surely, if you harvested all this corn, I'm gonna call you could it pay for next year. Now. I'm going to call this one Sharpen. Sharp? Oh, I can sharp. see why. Look at that. Youch! Ow! But actually, I Okay. Well, we escaped Jurassic Maze a lot easier than Jeff Goldblum did, that's for sure. Stumbled across a couple of eggs here at York Maze and they are hatching into some real monstrosities. Oh my word, look at what's hatching. Oh! Next on the list is the musical maze. Now it doesn't take a very inventive mind to work out what goes on in here. Have you ever thought of being a backup dancer for Madonna? You got the moves. Like Jagger. Oh, look at him. This is coming out on Now 61. Now York Mays. Right, boy, oh, come on. Daddy's going to get involved. I'm going to give you a beat. We got some actual corn growing in this corn maze. Come oh on, yes, it's corn. Sweet corn. corn. And then I think we'll just fit in, just before we uh, go for the final foam show 
the um, the sunflower fortune maze and we've got a, a fortune sunflower herself oh it used to be a fortune now a Judson and here we go let's just have a look at the sheer size as you can see it extends for ages and all the way back down this way as well I have seen a lot of horror movies so I am on my guard in here because it's surprising how many horrible creatures and how many completely psychotic killers chill out in corn mazes, I don't know what it is to be fair maybe it's warm I see something which could indicate we are on the right path I found another. We're here at the entrance to the maze, which it's been a long day and the maze is huge, so we're not actually going to go into the main maze today. But I figured I'd take you around and just show you the history of York Maze because it's been a uh, it's changed year upon year, so we have the Viking Longship Maze, the Spider's Web Maze. I think these are, these are all fantastic. The fact that they keep these as well as mementos of the past, I think, is fantastic. And my son is showing me something really exciting, which I would be excited about, and I know my best friend James would be excited about. 2006, they did. The Star Trek maze. Look at this, I wish I would have come then. The Enterprise. Oh, that's fantastic. 2007. We have the James Bond maze. The Moon Landing maze. The Harry Potter maze. In 2011. And because we're all one of these up here in 2014. Born, when I was born. The outspoken Yorkshireman's maze. When I was one. 2015. The Thunderbirds maze. 2016. The Roald Dahl maze. With a giant Wonka's golden ticket. With a fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, 2017, the Star Wars maze. And then, 2018. Tell you what, mate. You've got your, mo your movie music down, haven't you? Go on, then. 2019, the Lion King maze. No, hold on. That's under the sea. Wrong movie. Um, oh, I just can't wait to be king. And then 2020, the maze that never was because of that darn global pandemic we had, coronavirus. We had to shut down for a few years and unfortunately there was no maze until 2021. The 50th birthday of the world of Mr. Men and the reopening of York Maze but it doesn't end there 2021 into 2022 and we had the Lego Maze is that what it is now? that's in 2022 and then this year we just have the York Maze but we have space for many many years to come and what are you going to surprise us with this time York Maze only time will tell
Crow's head. Show us your head, Russell. Beautiful. And on the other side is his tail. Show us your tail, Russell. Because you know I'm on the Not again. No trouble. Right guys, so that is us done for a wild, wet and very tiring day at York Maze. It's been absolutely fantastic, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to put a smile on right now just because we are so, so tired. But the food's been amazing, the staff have been amazing helping out when we had uh, a crisis with the car. Um, the entire park is just really looked after. It's a really, really fun day and really cheap for everything that you get here it's been absolutely fantastic and we highly recommend it so we're going to drive back to the lodge now so for now we'll take a look at this guy behind us because the next time we'll be back here at york maze is for hello tween and for hello scream those are going to be a couple of fantastic events and we'll see you there, hello, tween, there. bye, bye.